What's up everyone, this is Cyberda8610, and today we're going to be opening up the brand new uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Vrain's uh, Code of the Duelist box. So, yeah, this is the uh, brand new set, the first set for Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrain's. So, of course, in this, this is the first set where we actually get Link Monsters, and there's actually a lot of good, like, Pendulum Monsters and other things, too, in this. So, let's go ahead, open this up, and uh, hopefully get something really cool. I'm hoping for Firewall Dragon, which is obviously the one on the cover. It's uh, the main character's y Yusaku, uh, his uh, signature monster. So, let's open this up and see what we get. Also, too, got this from jockrod.com. Be sure to check them out. Link in the description. That's where I get all of the uh, OCG uh, stuff I open up, the Japanese cards. So, yeah, I'll have a link to them in the description for you guys. And, of course, being a Japanese box, they still don't have it where, you know, you're guaranteed a holo per pack. That's only for us over here. But they do still have, like, uh, ultimate rares and stuff. So maybe we'll get one. Also, I like how they have the card dividers. They've been doing that for a while, but yeah, <laughs> it is kind of neat. Anyway, let's see what we get from our packs. I have my computer next to me, just in case I don't know the name of the card, but uh, I'm going to try my best, to <laughs> be very honest. So let's see. It's a little tougher on the, the common cards. That's one of the Star Grails, though. I'm looking forward to those. And then we have, uh, I forget the card, I forget the, the name of this card. It is uh, one of, it's like a marauding captain, obviously, on the front of it. Let me see real quick. It is a mauled captain. Okay, I went ahead and looked it up just because it has marauding captain on it. But yeah, I remember. Uh, I think we I posted that on Facebook or something. I don't know if I made a video about it. I don't think I did. It's kind of funny to see something different. You know, it's like warrior turning alive, and he's not too happy about it either. <laughs> and uh, so that's kind of cool. It's one of the cybers monsters, I believe. See Star Grill. There's another one of them. And then uh, we have one of the Servant Dragons, Supreme King, this is a uh, Starving Venom uh, Servant Dragon, so that is awesome looking, as a rare, yeah, I think they're all actually rares if I remember correctly in this, so that's really cool. Definitely gonna, well, why am I separating all those? There. I'm gonna separate the, the Supreme King Dragons though later on, because I love the artworks for them. Oh, there's one of the uh, Tricksters, I believe, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. I'm looking forward to that archetype, I think, over anything else for Link Summoning. And then there's another one, the Supreme King Dragons. This one's obviously for a clear wing. So there's another one. Like I said, I think they are all rare cards. Hopefully I'll get them all. Can't wait for those to be out in English, too. I gotta get all four of them. Like, they seriously look so cool. I bl believe that's another one of the Trickstars, I think. And there's uh, uh, Lumina for Light Swarms, or Twilight Swarms, I guess, for these. And then uh, we have Alexander, DDD, uh, I forget the exact name of him, of course his name change on this, but yeah, he's the more powered up version of Alexander, so that is awesome looking too. Another one you wouldn't think of as being a rare in this set, really. But yeah, there's actually a lot of really powerful Arc 5 monsters in this set, which seems funny because, you know, this is all about Link Summoning. There's another one, Twilight Swords, what is that one, Jane, I think? I think I remember that correctly. And there's a Link Monster for us, finally. I don't know the name of this one, but that's pretty cool. It's a common. And we have a Super Rare. Which one is this? It's like the new Trap Hole, I remember. So, it is Break Off Trap Hole. I just looked it up real quick. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. They always have, like, a new Trap Hole. And then uh, one for Dark Rebellion, the Supreme King Dark Rebellion. Very nice. I, I like that one, I think, the best, honestly. So, what we need? Just Odd Eyes, I guess, out of, out of those. And we got our first Holographic. Is that one of the Goki cards or Tricksters? I'll have to double check on that. And another one of Star Grails. Actually, both those were. I forget. You know, I don't have all the memorized just yet, but this is one of the Link Monsters for Star Grails. I might just look up its name, honestly, real quick, just because it is a Link Monster and it's awesome looking. And let's see, it is Star Grail Shine Maiden Eve. Okay. Uh, that's actually really cool looking. That's another archetype that I'm debating on building because I, I believe they're based around, of course, the Holy Grail, because Star Grails. So, uh, I might have to try those out. Might be kind of like my new Noble Knights or, or something, you know? I've heard they are really good. I don't know, all three of the main archetypes in this look awesome. There's one of the Goki. I, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Hopefully I am. They look really cool, too. And we have an ultimate rare! Oh man, that looks so cool, especially since we don't even see ultimate rares anymore. Uh, our first Link ultimate rare. Let me see the name of this one real quick, because I don't remember it, obviously. Uh, let's see, what is the name of this one? It is uh, Star Grail Warrior uh, Ningirsu? I think I'm saying that correctly. Hopefully I am. But anyway, that looks cool. A Link, a Link Monster looks really awesome as an Ultimate Rare, so can't wait to see something like this in English. I guess it'll have to wait until like an OTS pack if we get an Ultimate Rare uh, Link Monster, unless they eventually change that. I hope they do. But uh, that looks amazing. I like that. 
definitely keeping that. Gonna put that in the ultimate collection binder. I've started my own like ultimate rare binder for you guys like to do a collection video on sometime soon. I have a lot of collection videos to do. Numbers, everything, so. Oh, there's Raiko, Twilight Sworn. There's none of the Twilight Sworn cards. And then we have, oh, this is the one for the, the Gokis. Uh, let's see, it is an ultra rare. What's the name of it again? It is uh, Goki the Great Ogre. So yeah, this archetype looks awesome too. I believe they're based off wrestlers or something, if I remember correctly. It's something along those lines. But I, they're one of the best link summoning archetypes, I believe, out there. So I can't wait to see more support for them in the future. And they look like a lot of fun with just the support they have in this set. So that's cool. This opening might be a little bit longer than most just because I'm really excited about going through every card because it is, you know, starting a new series and everything. So they all look so cool. Star Grill. There's like the the Dark World card, I should say. Yeah. And then there's the Dark Rebellion, Supreme King Dark Rebellion. Come on, getting Odd Eyes, because that's the last one I really want out of that. All the rares, really. There's another one, the Cybers. I still want to call them Cyber <laughs> type. Raiko. We're thinking of Star Grill. And we have a uh, a super rare. What is, what's the name of this one? Let me double check on that one too. Sorry, I know I'm having to double check uh, on a bunch of them. We have uh, Castle Link is the name, so that's pretty interesting. I like the artwork on it. it looks cool. And another one's the Star Girls, the Maiden. Super rare. I don't remember what that card does. I'll need to double check that later. Anyway, more Cyber Monsters and everything. Jane. The Link Monster for us, and of course, I uh, remember talking about this one too. This is one of the first Link Monsters we talked about. What is the name? It's like uh, Milus Radiant, or it's like the uh, upgraded version, I guess, of that card. Yeah, it, it, well, it is uh, uh, Mythos Radiant, I believe is the name, is how you say it. So, there you go. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm just going to scroll through the cards and just find the name on that one. But yeah, I remember us, I think it was like one of the first three that we talked about or something. I think people were saying to, they were going to try to use that with Zodiac or something. Something along those lines. On the Cyber's cards. And there's the Trap Tricks. Got one of those. Oh yeah, I like this card too. The Gear Gear card where it's like rock, paper, scissors. That's pretty interesting. And then uh, this artwork is epic looking too. It's one of the Twilight Storm cards. I forget the exact name of it, but that artwork, seriously. <laughs> Looks like the Avengers or something. You know, like a movie poster kind of thing going on. Twilight Swarms are off to some kind of battle. Oh, I hadn't seen this card yet. That looks kind of cool. Indiana Jones Panda. <laughs> and then there's the, the rescue card for different rescue cards, like Rescue Rabbit and, and Cat and everything, so that's cool. I like the artwork of that one. One of the best artworks ever. I want sleeves with that artwork. I forget the exact name, but I hate to look up every name, because I don't want this video to be like a 30 minute video. Star Grill. And then, oh yeah, that's that other card that uh, I remember seeing recently. It was It's kind of an interesting one, too. What is the name of it? Because I'm actually going to look that one up. It is Boogie Trap. All right. I thought it was kind of a weird name on that. So yeah, that's actually a pretty interesting uh, spell card. Even though it's called Boogie Trap, it's a spell card, obviously. Last one for the right side of the box. What do we have here? Star Grill. And we have, oh yeah, this is the new uh, Prophecy card for spell books and everything. So that's like a Destiny draw for them, basically. So that's awesome. And uh, have some kind of like Twin Twister looking trap card. I don't remember the name of that, but of course you got to have the... <laughs> the cow and the tornado. Now for the left side of the box. Hoping for more Link Monsters. There's one of the DD Monsters that's in this. And uh, I forget the name of this one, but it's like that goblin again, you know, with like, uh, what does he have? Pot of Desires with him, actually. He has it's one of the different, like, pot cards, whether it be yeah, uh, of greed or desires or whatever, so. Trick stars and everything, star grills, and firewall dragon. There we are. That is so cool. So we actually got our, our new main character signature card. So I was really hoping I'd get one. And that looks awesome, too. He looks like it's going to be a great card, uh, of course, for the series and everything. And there's that 2,500 attack. So obviously, that is our main card, and that looks awesome. So can't wait to get that in English. I'm hoping that's going to be just easy to get in English. Did I skip a card? No, I don't think so. Okay. For a second, I thought I skipped one. Because I saw that it was a Link Monster, I was like, please, Firewall. So, I'm happy now. With all the Link Monsters I have, I'd really like to eat Gaia. Since, of course, you know, it looks like my artwork and everything. Let's see, we have Jane. And uh, we have Lila. I think I said Lumina before, did I? Did I mess up on that? If I did, sorry. That's Lila. 
I might have said the wrong name before. Sometimes I forget some of the Lightsworn names. And then another one of the, uh, that is Trickster, right? You know, I'm actually going to look that one up because I want to make sure I'm not saying anything wrong, if possible. Yeah, Trickstar, uh, Candia is evidently the name, so, okay. It's tough when you have Japanese cards in front of you, like, I'm trying to memorize everything, and all these new cards, man, it's kind of an overload right now. Another Link Monster for us, Dark Grail, and, uh, I believe that's another one of the Goki cards, right? Yeah, that's actually, I see it right here. Uh, Goki Rising Scorpio. He's cool looking. I'm looking forward to trying out basically all of these archetypes that are in this, but I'm thinking Star Girls might end up being my main. We'll see. That and there it is, there's Gaia for us as a super rare. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, just like with any uh, any time when if we have new cards and everything, there's always a new version of Guy. You know, we've had a synchro of him at the beginning, you know, and XC and everything. And it's cool to actually get a Link Monster of him. I love the artwork on that too. It reminds me of like my logo and everything. I always have the knight, you know, riding the horse. So that is so cool looking. Can't wait to get that in English as well. And another one of the Trick Stars. That was another main card I wanted from this. I've actually been collecting different Gaia monsters, too. Maybe we'll do a collection video on that. I don't know. I've been coming up with a lot of different video ideas. Another one of the Scorpion dude. We still don't have a Secret Rare, I believe. So maybe we can get another, like, Link monster as a Secret Rare. Also, I want to get Odd Eyes, if I could get that. And we have Punishment Dragon! That, that's awesome! It's basically the new Judgment Dragon. It's kind of like an evil Judgment Dragon, I guess, or dark Judgment Dragon, I should say. Yeah, it's Punishment Dragon. I went on ahead and just double-checked and make sure I was saying the right name. Yeah, I, I thought I had that one memorized, so that's awesome looking. Ultra Rare, too. I like that. The Ultra Rare looks a little different on these, too, by the way. Like, the stars are actually holographic and everything. Like, I don't know, it seems to have more shine to it. That's really cool. Yeah, there's your new Judgment Dragon. I can just about, I feel like I can guarantee that's going to be Secret Rare for us, you know? <laughs> a lot of these cards, I feel like you can just look at them like, oh, that's going to be tougher for us to get. And there's our Odd Eyes. All right, there's that Spring King Servant Odd Eyes, so that's awesome. All right, I was hoping I would get at least one of each. I, I can't wait to get those in English. I'm hoping they're going to be easy to get, but I'm kind of afraid on what rarities those are going to be. I just hope they're the same rarity, because I like that they all kind of match, you know? Let's see, what else do we have here? We have... I don't know the name of this card, actually. It's kind of neat looking, though. I don't know, I might, you know what? I'll look it up real quick. Oh, yeah, it's one of the Star Grails. Uh, Star Grail uh, Fairy uh, Rias, I think. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's the reason sometimes I do editing, especially, you know, big time on uh, Japanese openings, because I'm looking up card names. Trap Tricks. And uh, there's uh, there's Lumina. Alright, so yeah, I said that earlier. Uh, this Super Rare version, I, I didn't know if it was a high rarity card, so that looks really cool as a Super Rare. Twilight Sword and Lumina. Then we have this card, uh, another one I don't know. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's uh, Star Relic, uh, Star Grail, actually. It was up on my computer screen already. Nice. Makes it easy to say the name. I feel like I'm getting a lot of holographics. And uh, we have Rescue Ferret. Now that's awesome, too. I've been wanting one of those cards. I forgot that it was a, a rare. I was hoping it wasn't holographic. I think we only have, like... No, we still have a few packs. I thought we only have, like, two left, so... We still have some chances. And there's our secret rare. That's another... What was that card again? The Castle... Oh, uh, what was it? It is Castle Link. All right. So, yeah, that's our secret rare. Looks pretty cool as a secret rare. I gotta say, that looks actually really awesome. I like the artwork of it and everything. It's a field spell. So, I, again, I don't remember what it does, but, you know, what? That, that's still an awesome secret rare to get. I mean, just the, just from, like, the artwork and everything. I think it's supposed to be pretty good if I remember correctly, but, again, I've had, uh, we talked about so many cards this month and everything, <laughs> it gets confusing. Or at least it is for me, I don't know. There's another one of a mold captain. Yeah, he looks like he's angry at all of them, so that's kind of funny. Only two packs left, so I don't know what that helps to ask for. I feel like I got everything I wanted. Just anything awesome that we can get, really. Oh, there's another one of Starving Venom, the Supreme King version. So, you know what? I'll take another one of those. Don't mind doubles on those cards, especially. And last pack. What can we end with? Can we end with a hollow? I can say that with Japanese openings. Let's see. 
I don't know, we might have gotten all of our hollows that we're supposed to get, but part of the cards, let's see. That still works even in Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains. And there we go, we got a hollow! That's awesome, a super rare! Uh, I think I've heard this is like supposed to be the villain's card or something. I, I could be completely wrong on that, I haven't seen the show, obviously. And, uh, let's see, it is Cracking Dragon. So you can also get in a secret rare in this set, too. So, that looks really cool. From what I've heard on the details that we have already, I believe it's supposed to be like the main villain's monster, or at least one of the beginning villains, I don't know. But yeah, since the show's not out yet, don't really know, but, uh, yeah, that looks really cool. It does kind of look evil. And then also a clear wing. For that so <laughs> that's really cool too so hope you guys have enjoyed this video as always thank you guys for watching all right so let's go ahead and go through our holographics got a lot of twilight swords actually most of them were uh, lower already these two though we got like lumina and punishment dragon so that's awesome also got gaia like i said that was like one of the main cards i wanted firewall dragon that was another one too so happy i got that that looks awesome also the uh, prophecy spell book you know like their destiny drill like i said before i don't remember the exact name but that's how i <laughs> remember it i uh, wanted the goki link monsters which that looks so cool as an ultra rare and even an ultimate rare link monster and i'm so happy i got with these two because i was really hoping i would just see what a uh, link monsters look like as an ultimate rare and that looks looks amazing. Like I said, hopefully one of these days we'll see Ultimate Rares again in our main sets. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. As always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, there's so many new cards in this set. I still don't know what I plan on building after, you know, whenever this is actually out in English. It'll be out in English uh, this August, too, in case people are wondering. And uh, I can't wait to see, you know, uh, what some of the new cards are going to be in it. Because we always get, you know, a couple of slight changes. We still get, you know, the same cards they do, but they add in a few for us. It's the basic change. So I can't wait to, to see what's going to be added in. And I'm thinking I'll probably go with Star Grails, honestly. But then again, Tricksters look so much fun. They look like you're a lot of fun to troll your opponent with, and the Goki monsters, which I'm still hoping I'm not mispronouncing that, they look like they're going to be really powerful too. So let me know what you guys think about this set and what uh, new Link Summoning archetype you guys plan on trying out. Or, you know, if you don't plan on trying out Link Summoning, what kind of uh, archetype or deck do you plan on building to go against it? Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you guys for watching. Of course, like this video if you enjoyed it. I can't believe we got so many awesome cards from this. Of course, subscribe too for more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings, because like I said, as soon as it's out in English, you guys know I'm going to do an opening on a box so probably more than one, and we're going to go to sneak preview and everything too, so I, I can't wait for that, so if you want to be updated with everything Yu-Gi-Oh!, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and also hit that bell icon so you are notified when I upload a new video, because, you know, YouTube's having a lot of problems lately. And yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching, you guys are awesome, and of course I will catch you guys later. See ya!